Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Optimus here, and I'm bringing you kind of a crappy gameplay, but I'm bringing, can, bringing it to you, my bad, from a perspective of how I play. This gameplay is going to be a lot about uh, rules of gunfight engagement, and a little bit on making smart plays. And you'll see right off the bat, I go and charge a guy with an assault rifle, he has a submachine gun. Obviously I lose. But uh, with the engagement and Black Ops 2, you almost have to force a lot of the enemy players to an engagement at a range in which you're comfortable, and at an engagement which their gun isn't going to do its max amount of damage, and yours is still doing either almost all of your max, or even more than half of your half of your damage range. Sorry about that. But You'll see I get in a lot of uh, situations here where I'm forcing engagements with the AN-94 that I should not be forcing. And then, like that guy right there, B-flag engagement, I get mowed down. But you're going to see at another point in this game where I force an engagement on a guy with a Tricom. I think I put it in here. And the guy with the Tricom wins due to lag compensation. He hits me once, I pull back, and on his screen he actually hit me every time with his burst until the clip was empty. It seems like he had a pack of punch Shycom gun to me, but uh, you'll s it's just a fact of knowing your engagement, knowing your enemies, knowing your weapons. And honestly, I would not push up in really close quarter combat with the AN-94 like I was doing in this video. But I wanted to push up and do all this to make a point to show you that engagement is extremely important and, important, and the way you engage your enemy is also extremely important. Like that guy there, submachine gun, mid-range, I win, and my team captures the sea flag. But you're going to see, part of the way through this game, I really start forcing mid-range engagements. And you'll see I cap flags, I pull my streaks, and I think right here I start pushing my first mid-range engagement. There it is. That guy's well out of his range. I win that gunfight on scape. And that's just the best way to force that engagement. You want to keep these guys at your range. Here it is. We'll keep engage. We lose the flag, but I engage them guys at range, and I'm comfortable, and know that they're out range. That guy, I cheap shot to the back. That was kind of a, a dirty move, but there it is. I force the engagement. I cap, cap the flag, and now I pull my UAV, my hunter killer, my lightning strike. Now my team's going to push up here. I'm going to start cycling my streaks through, and then I die using the chai com. I absolutely hate that gun. But here I go again. I think I'm going to start pushing up. I think I get mowed down here. Yeah, there's another one in close range engagements I want to show you not to push into. Never push yourself into a situation like that. But now here I am trying to engage these guys. My hunter killer kills both of them on me. But you'll see I force a very long range engagement knowing that they're not going to be able to attack. So I push up on the B flag. Here I am. I'm going to push an engagement with this guy. Bucky engagement. Push a mid range engagement with him. And I'm able to walk away on the until the car explodes. You see, I see that guy, but I want to back Losing off. I want to get a better engagement point of view in case he pushes out that window with an SMG. But my teammate mows him down on me. Here I am again, trying Reloading. to pull a head glitch and push engagement off of their spawning flag, stopping them from putting B. Put myself in a good anchor position here. The only way they were going to get me is from behind, and as you can see in my mini-map, my team is pretty well pushed up behind me from behind, and that's how we end that round pretty, pretty strong, but we managed losing anyway. If we would have pulled the same stuff, we would have won. Now here I am, I'm waiting out for my, my kill streak delay, and I really think it's annoying. I wait a little bit more here for the lightning strike, waiting to see where they're going. I wish you could show the lightning strike, because I'd like to do an episode on lightning strike placement, but it really doesn't show it, and it's kind of, uh, kind of really hard to do a video about that. And here I am, I'm going to push up on B again, and I think I pull back to the same spot. I make a fatal mistake, I should have never dropped this lightning strike down this soon. It was just a really big mistake, I was really jumpy, I felt like I was pressured, and I was kind of getting over cocky. And somehow they managed to take me after getting leveled with a lightning strike. So here I am, I push up here, I peek over, and I win that engagement. I had him first. That was just a fact of gunfight first. And then I get charged by three guys. And yeah, here comes this. I see, I'm looking, here comes the engagement. I start shooting him, I get the kill on him. That's the guy with the Tricom, he runs off to my right. So I peek a little bit, I start putting a little more spray on back off. I look that way, good. There it was. Just that many birds from the Tricom, and I was dead. 
I wasn't really that wounded. I'm well out of her range. And here's one of them beautiful Treyarch spawns. It spawns me head to head with like three members of the team. I kill one guy to rest him and back off. I'm afraid to move here. I love the way Treyarch set that spawn up. That was absolutely amazing. Thank God half of them backed off. Now this engagement I don't understand. I'm hitting the guy with the AN 94 and he just out of nowhere just kills me through the wall. I really didn't get sprayed that much. And I think at this point I've kind of given up hope in this game and just start playing really crappy. But you'll see that was just who was faster reflexes. My reflexes were top of the line right there compared to him. I don't know what this guy does. My teammate runs right by him after he lays down so I jump up here and I'm like oh wait this guy. So that was just a fact of him being dumb and me being a little bit smarter on the play I made. But uh, yeah guys, I think my next video that I'm going to post up today or some point soon is going to be a game on plays and uh, how to make smarter plays, what plays you should make in different game modes. I mean, I don't think I'm going to have team deathmatch plays. I mean, team deathmatch really comes down to the skill of uh, knowing what routes to run. But here, I think I'm going to try and give you some plays on uh, pressured plays. You're in a situation, you got to make a move for your team, or you got to make a move to get your team to spawn in type of plays. I think I'm going to push that and uh, see if I can get any good game types for you. Smart plays to make when a guy with just knives is rushing at you because you know they're six perked and they're kind of hard to take out. So I'm going to try and push for stuff like that. I'm going to do a lot more uh, competitive kicks. <clears throat> Sorry, again, tips and tricks. I can't really talk today. But uh, I'm going to do more on that, definitely, like the hard point tips and tricks. I think the next thing is going to be a uh, <clears throat> search and destroy tips and tricks a little bit later with my boy Hans Brady, who I believe, from what I've heard, has joined Team Arknet. So if you have Shoot Hans, down. thanks a lot. Congratulations. Welcome to the team. It's going to be awesome to play with you on a more serious and competitive format. It's going to be awesome to have you have my back and uh, help me step up my game. Thanks, man, and welcome to the team. But uh, I think I'll do some search with him a little bit later. I know he'll be all game for it. If I can't go to go get a good gameplay from search, I will definitely pull one off of him and his strategy if he's outnumbered or how we're going to play. Or maybe I'll even do a live com with all the shout outs and everything. Just a competitive live com. You're going to hear all the shout outs we're making, all the, the team communication, and stuff like that. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, even subscribe. See ya.